Happy birthday to our beloved Yellow Ranger, Twee Trang, a.k.a. Trini Kwan. May she rest in peace. X-Man 1991, back again with another sports topic. And today we're going to be talking some basketball. First, we're going to do a recap of last night's game between the Miami Heat and LeBron's former team, the Cleveland Cavaliers. Let me tell you something. It's been three years since LeBron left Cleveland for the second time and decided to go play for the Lakers. But when he returned to Cleveland as a Laker, instead of the fans booing him, they cheer for him because he finally won a championship there as he did make that promise. Unlike 11 years ago when he took his talents to South Beach, he got booed. LeBron got booed the hell out of the out of the arena in Cleveland when he took his talents to South Beach because they felt like he betrayed the Cavaliers. But now they want to cheer for him <laughs> ever since he won a championship for them. Let's get right into it. I'm wearing my head. I'm watching the I'm watching the versus battle between Ashanti and Keisha Cole. I do go back and watch some of these versus battles that already happened. I can't wait for more versus battles in 2022. The Heat got crushed in the first half. They lost by Deuce. Oh no, excuse me. The Heat outscored the Cavs by Deuce in the first quarter, 25 to 23. But they gave up 32 points in the second quarter while scoring 19. At halftime, Cavs 55, Heat 44. The Heat outscored the Cavs by 6 in the third quarter, 29 to 23. After 3 Cavs 78, Heat 73. The Heat lost by six in the fourth quarter, 27 to 21. Final score Cleveland Cavaliers 105, Miami Heat 94. The Cavs are now 17 and 12 as the Heat fall 16 and 12. Tomorrow night, the Heat go against the 76ers in Philly before they go against the Magic in Orlando on Friday. Sunday, they go to Motown to go against the Pistons. Next Tuesday, they're back at the crib taking on the Pacers. The 23rd, a rematch taking on the Pacers. Kwanzaa, the day after Christmas, a rematch taking on the Magic. The 28th, taking on the Wizards. The 29th, against the Spurs. New Year's Eve against my Rockets. January 2nd against the Kings. January 3rd against the Warriors. January 5th against the Trailblazers. January 8th against the Suns. January 12th against the Hawks. January 14th taking on the Hawks. Well, they got the Lakers on the 23rd at the crib. Mikey, if you're watching, the Heat have a game on your birthday taking on the Pistons, March 15, 2022. Jared Allen. No, excuse me, Isaac Okoro. 18 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. Jared Allen, 17 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists. 
Darius Garland, 16 points, 4 rebounds, 5 assists. Laurie Mark Mark Cannon, 12 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists. And Evan Mobley, 9 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists. For the bench, they get 33 points. Ricky Rubio, 7 points, 3 rebounds, 7 assists. Kevin Love, 23 points, 9 rebounds, 1 assist. Lamar Stevens, 3 points, 4 rebounds, no assists. And Seti Osman, no points, no rebounds, one assist. P.J. Tucker, 23 points, nine rebounds, five assists. Kyle Lowry, 22 points, three rebounds, five assists. Gabe Vincent, 10 points, three rebounds, four assists. Dwayne Dedman, 10 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists. And Dwayne Dedman, I mean Duncan Robinson, 6 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists. For the bench, they get 23 points. Tyler Hero, 12 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists. Omer Yurt, 7. 8.7 rebounds, 1 assist. Casey Okpala, 3 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists. And Max Struss, no points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists. Kevin Love was the player of the game with 23 points, 9 rebounds, and 1 assist. I thought Isaac... Okoro was the player of the game, but it goes to Kevin Love. I'll get my two cents about this game in a moment, but first. We're going to do a recap of last night's game between the Houston Rockets and the Atlanta Hawks. The Rockets got crushed in the first half. Gave up 10 points in the first quarter, 38 to 28. Then they gave up a point in the second quarter, 31 to 30. At halftime, Hawks 69, Rockets 58. Rockets gave up two points in the third quarter, 32 to 30. After the third quarter, Hawks 101, Heat, I mean Rockets 88. Rockets made a huge comeback in the fourth quarter. Outscoring the Hawks by 19 points, 44 to 25. Final score, Houston Rockets 132, Atlanta Hawks 126. The Rockets close out their 22-game losing streak. They are now 9 and 18 as the Hawks fall 13 and 14. The Rockets go against the team that the Heat lost to last night in Cleveland, the Cavaliers, before taking on the Knicks on Thursday. Saturday, they go against the Pistons in Motown. Next Monday, they go against the Bulls. The 22nd, they go against the defending champs, the Milwaukee Bucks, in the rematch. The 23rd against the Pacers, the 27th against the Hornets, the 28th taking on the Lakers. 
New Year's Eve taking on the Heat. New Year's Day taking on the Denver Chicken Nuggets. The 23rd against the 70, the January 3rd against the 76ers. January 5th against the Wizards. Let me see. Well, they have a game on my sister's birthday, April 5th, 2022, against James Harden and the Nets. On my cousin's birthday, March 30th, they take on the Kings. Trey Young, 41 points, 4 rebounds, 9 assists. John Collins, 14 points, 7 rebounds, no assists. Former Houston Rocket Clint Capella, 12 points, 16 rebounds, 1 assist. Timothy Luawu, Luawu Cabaret, 8 points, 3 rebounds, 1 assist. And Kevin Hunter, Kevin, Kevin Hurter, five points, three rebounds, five assists. For the bench, they get 46 points. Cam Reddish, 12, wait. Delano Gallinari and Cam Reddish both had 12 points, 2 rebounds, and no assists. Lou Williams, 12 points, 1 rebound, 2 assists. Dellen Wright, 2 points, no rebounds, 2 assists. And Gorgery Dang, 8 points, 2 rebounds, no assists. Eric Gordon, 32 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists. Jay Sean Tate, 15 points, 2 rebounds, 4 assists. Christian Wood, 12 points, 5 rebounds, 3 assists. Armani Brooks, 6 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists. And Garrison Matthews, 5 points, 8 rebounds, 1 assists. Y'all won't believe how much the Rockets bench scored. The Rockets bench gets 62 points. Amazing. Kenya Martin Jr., 13 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists. Alperin Sengun, 11 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. Josh Christopher, 6 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists. DJ Augustin, 22 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist. And David Nwaba, 10 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists. The player of the game was soon-to-be birthday boy Eric Gordon with 32 points, 3 rebounds, and 3 assists. Yeah, I said soon-to-be birthday boy because Eric Gordon's birthday is on Christmas Day. Yep. His birthday's on Christmas Day. He'll be 33 years old. My two cents on this game, I'm going to start with the Heat first. I got to give it to the Cavaliers because they definitely came to play. But as for the Heat, it was a tough loss for them last night and I didn't get to watch the game. But Heat, just keep your heads up, get your shit together, and get yourselves ready for tomorrow as you head to Philly to go against the 76ers. 
As for the Rockets, they were struggling during the first three quarters until they made one hell of a comeback in the fourth quarter. I thought they was going to be on a three-game losing streak until they scored 44 points in the fourth quarter. 44 points. They scored 19 points more than the Hawks in the fourth quarter. Congratulations, Rockets, for making a hell of a comeback last night. And I didn't get to watch this game, too. But I'm happy that they won. Let's get back on the win streak, fellas. Because you lost two games. You lost Friday against the Bucks, ending your eight-game, seven-game winning streak. And you lost to the Grizzlies on Saturday. So let's see if you guys can beat the Cavaliers tomorrow. But that's going to wrap up my only rant of the day, a recap of last night's games between the Miami Heat and the Cleveland Cavs and the Houston Rockets and the Atlanta Hawks. If you're new here, hit subscribe if you like the content and hit that notification bell for my next Rockets and Heat rants. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. And I'll catch you tomorrow reminiscing 24 years of the birth of the Attitude Era from the December 15th, 1997 edition of Raw is War. Don't follow your dreams. Chase them. Peace. Go Miami Heat. And go Houston Rockets.